Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really exquisite name. Oh, I think it's very exquisite. Just like I think C5 is pretty exquisite. Yes. Yes. C5, Candy's Cozy Couch Cuddly Crew. They are here. They they here. They here. Rhino hogging all the line. Like Rhino know he gotta switch out after this video. He know. He know this is last time for a little while. He gotta rotate out. Anyway, boys and girls, look. It's time for the check. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Let's time for the check. Let's. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Rhino about to bite me. Now, I told him, don't do that. Be nice. Anyway, let me do this checklist. Let me do this checklist. Now, I heard y'all grumbling up there. I'm sorry. The tambourine is a little loud, especially when I get going on it. You know how I be. It's over now, dang. See, I'm over here getting razzed by uh, C5. They own me. Okay. They not so cuddly when they upset. I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, boys and girls, enough of my shenanigans. Listen, I hope you guys had a perfect day. How about that? I hope it was perfect. Yes, I hope it, it fulfilled everything you needed it to fulfill. I hope you did something fun, exciting, brand new, different, unique, special, and just awesome, okay? And I hope that you had a chance to chat about it with your family around the dinner table that everybody came together had conversation and had a good meal and your bellies are full and satisfied yes indeed and after that dinner y'all better pull back from that table and make sure you clean up clean up clean up do your chores help out yes gotta keep that house intact you know gotta keep it comfortable for everybody and then don't forget to do your homework oh you got to do that homework I need you to continue to stimulate and continue to grow that big, beautiful, brilliant brain of yours. That's a lot of bees. I had to think about it. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's not assigned by your teacher. It's assigned by you just to do what you should do to keep yourself stimulated and motivated and just ready to go. Okay. Um, did you pick out your PJs? And if they're your special PJs, you did a good job on picking them out. Also, did you pick out your clothes that you're going to be wearing for tomorrow, you know? Um, yeah, it's going to be a new day, but by the time you wake up in the morning, if you already picked out your um, outfit that you're going to wear, you don't have to worry about it in the morning. Now, did you take a bath or a shower and wash your body up from head to toe, all clean and lathered with the soap and rinsed off really well, and then dry off, right, with your towel and put some lotion on so you're not all ashy. You want to be smooth and soft, okay? Um, And don't forget, brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and rinse your mouth. Yes, those three things in three minutes. How about that? Do that. And then clean out your ears so that you can hear you clean out your nose, I suppose, only if you need to. All right, if the sinuses are acting up, your allergies are kicking in, and you're a little stuffy and stopped up in your nasal passages, you might have to do a little something with your nose. Um, Let's see. What do we have on here? Don't forget to use the bathroom one last time before you go to bed. Get your peas and poos out. So hopefully there are no interruptions during your bedtime. You can sleep and rest and be happy. All right. And, of course, turn on your nightlight so you can see in case you do have to get up in the middle of the night. Um, don't forget if you have any special um, thing that you need to do. If you need to take medicine or a vitamin or, you know, use any special equipment before bed, make sure your parents or guardians are there to help you assist and make sure that it's done correctly and that you don't forget to do it. Now, we're going to need y'all to read a book. Get that story time in. Get the bedtime story in. Either you read or someone reads to you or you make up a story or maybe you sing songs together, tell a couple jokes, some affirmations, pray together, whatever you need to do before bed 
make it a part of the routine because it's very important. Now, don't forget to tuck yourself in. But before you do that, your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members, your loved ones, your pets. One last time before you go to bed. So once you're tucked in with your cuddle buddy, you got to make sure you have your favorite cuddle buddy or rotate them out. Because I got a gang of them up here looking at me how they looking. What y'all looking at? Me? No? Oh, okay. All right. They all cut their eyes back the other way. Like, we well, not looking at you. Shoot, you looking at us. And they right. Anyway, um... Yeah, don't forget, after you get your cuddle buddy, make sure you say a prayer. Please say your prayers before you go to bed. Very important. That really seals the deal and guarantees everything's going to be all right and you're going to have an awesome dream. And, of course, you know how we do when we go to dreamland. I do hope you guys did get a chance to wash your hair, comb your hair, wrap your hair, tie up your hair, do something with your hair. Because I think I forgot to mention that earlier. But now let's check this checklist. Oh, check, check it, check, 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 check. Flip it. Check, check it, check, 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 check. Slam it. All done. All right. It's time for a story. Yay. It is Literacy Month. Awesome. And then I like to call it the extension of Black History Month because I keep finding awesome books about people of Black history that are Black, melanated, you know, um, doing awesome things. And there's so many of them that how I couldn't fit them all in in February, so I just keep running across them. But you may have heard about this gentleman right here. It's Jackie Robinson. Uh, it says on here, First Biographies. I think that's the, that's the uh, series of books. Uh, by Lola M. Schaefer, Gail Sanders Smith, Ph.D. Consulting Editor. Okay, so we have somebody that did some edits on the book, right? Now they had conversation to determine the edits. What do we have on here? Oh, they just have a listing of other um, people that they have books about too, as well. So maybe I'll look for some of those. Who do we have? Amelia Earnhardt, Benjamin Franklin, Christopher Columbus, Clara, Clara, Clara Burton, Frederick Douglass, George Washington Carver, Harriet Tubman, Jackie Robinson, which is what we're reading about. Oh, they have one about Pocahontas, Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, and Thomas Edison. Okay, that's good to know. So there's extra books that you guys can look up to as well. We're going to read about Jackie Robinson. Do y'all know who Jackie Robinson was? Well, you're about to find out. Here we go. Timeline. 1919 was when he was born. Jackie Robinson was born in Georgia in 1919. His family was poor, of course. They moved to California to make a better life. That's good. Back in the day, poor was just like the, the thing, huh? Just, we just, it was poor, man. Just ridiculous, eh? The economy, I don't know what to say. Uh, Jackie went to school. He worked hard at many jobs. He gave the money he earned to his mother. She bought food and clothes for the family. Jackie and his family in California. Oh, man. Show you the words. Okay. Some white people did not like African Americans. These people treated Jackie and his family unfairly. But Jackie was proud of himself and his family. Jackie, second from the left, and his family. And there they are. Second from the left is Jackie. Jackie was a sports star. In high school and college, he won many awards. He left college to earn more money for his family. Jackie jumping in a college track meet. So he did ran track in college. Okay. All right. There's more words, words, words. Jackie joined the U.S. Army in 1942. He worked hard to be a good soldier. But some army officials treated him unfairly because he was an African-American. Jackie in his army uniform. Yes. Look at him. And he was in the army too. 
Ooh, Jackie Robinson did a lot. Yes, she did. In 1945, Jackie played baseball for the Kansas City Monarchs. This team was in the Negro League, Negro, Negro American League at the time. African Americans could not play on major league teams. So like the Tigers and the White Sox and the other teams, he couldn't play on those teams. In 1946, Jackie played for the Montreal Royals. In 1947, he became the first African American player on a major league team. That team was the Brooklyn Dodgers. Oh, he cracked. He cracked the code. Busted into the lead. All right. Good job, Jackie. Jackie played for the Brooklyn Dodgers for 10 years. He was a great player, but some people still treated him unfairly because he was an African-American. Jackie's teammates congratulating him after he hit a home run in a 1951 playoff game. So you know what the pictures are showing. All right, Jackie Robinson. Jackie was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. He was the first African American honored there. Jackie Robinson died in 1972. Oh man, he died four years before I was born. Ah, oh, no wonder I didn't get a chance to meet him. That picture was of Jackie Robinson holding his National Baseball Hall of Fame award. Oh, and that is the end of the story. The end. The end. So now you know who Jackie Robinson was. Because he's no longer with us right now. But he is an angel in heaven watching over us. And putting out good energy into the universe. So that if you guys are deciding... To go into the major leagues of baseball, you have an open door. Thanks to his efforts back way when. At least back before I was born. Uh -huh. Back before you were born too, if you're younger than me. I'm just saying. All right, boys and girls. Yes, and I will continue to be reading different books about different African American black people that have done awesome things. Even if it's not the month of February. Because black history is all year round. Okay. And Literacy Month happens to be this month, which is also all year round. It's like they deem a month or a day for something that could actually be carried on way beyond that day or month or week or whatever. But anyway, boys and girls, that's it. Now you know about Jackie Robinson. Anybody want to be a baseball player? Swing that bat, pitch that ball, run those bases, huh? Diving catch, robbing the other team of a Grand Slam homer. How about that? Ooh, we. All right, boys and girls, you know what to do. You got that dream, that aspiration in mind? Get your cuddle buddy together. Get in bed. Your checklist done. Double check to make sure now. Get in bed. Snug as a bug in the rug. Comfy and cozy. Yes, make sure you are in bed without a lot of extra clutter. Just you and your cuddle buddy and your covers that you need or don't need because it might be a little warm. The weather is fluctuating. It was kind of springy today. Where it was winter time this weekend, but I digress. Anyway, go ahead and close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Anything you want to. Even being a baseball player, it's all up to you. And just let your body relax and fall off to sleep. Because that's what I want to do right now. So that you can drift off into dreamland to have your special dream. You ready? Me and Rhino are ready. C5 is ready. Look at them. Look at them. They're ready. They're tired. All right, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.